So today we're going to be learning about what happens when we send food scraps to landfills. And so we're going to be doing a simulation activity that actually tries to simulate or give us a picture of what's going on in a landfill when we send our food scraps there. So just a little background science. When we send food scraps to a landfill, it's different than when we send food scraps into our compost bin, simply because in a landfill, there's a lack of oxygen. And when there's a lack of oxygen, that means that there are different types of bacteria that reside in the landfill that do not need oxygen to survive. When those different bacteria are starting to break things down, when they break down food, they actually give off two gases, carbon dioxide and methane. Both of those gases are considered greenhouse gases because they're really good at trapping heat in our atmosphere. Now we all know we need those gases in our environment in order for our planet to be livable. The problem is when we get too much of those gases, that's when we have problems in terms of climate change. And the heat holding of those gases can start to change our global climate. And so today, what we're going to do is we are going to actually simulate what happens when those food scraps go into a landfill. I'm going to use a couple simple tools. You're going to need either bananas or banana peels or blueberries. Either work really well. They're both really gaseous fruits, which is exactly what we need for this simulation. You're going to need some water. And you're gonna need two bottles. I have glass bottles, plastic bottles work just as well. You're also gonna need something to chop up your food scraps into small pieces. I have a knife. You can also use scissors. Kids, if you're doing this on your own, feel free to use some scissors or grab a parent to help you chop up your food scraps. Another thing you're gonna need are some balloons. And for me, I'm gonna use a funnel because I'm messy when I pour water to be able to get my water into my bottles. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up some of our banana peel. And you want to do it in small pieces simply because the smaller you cut things up, the faster they'll break down. And what we are going to try and simulate, like I said, is what happens when those anaerobic or non-oxygen loving bacteria break food down in a landfill. You don't need too much, just enough. And you want to take in one of those bottles, just put those banana peels. Shove them in there. Your hands are going to get messy. It's okay. Remember, it's science. So it's fun to get messy with science. All right. I'm going to put in a little bit more. The more food you put in, just um, the faster you'll see a change. And so I'm going to put in a little bit more. About a maybe a third of the way full, maybe a quarter of the way full. Okay, once I've got this, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm not gonna add my water. So I have two bottles because one is serving as my control, so I know that this won't have any food in it and I shouldn't see anything happening in this bottle. And then this is gonna be my experimental bottle. Many times when we do science experiments, we wanna do multiple trials, so we have multiple experimental bottles. But because this is a demonstration, one will work. However, if you wanna try it with both bananas and blueberries, feel free to do so. Grab as many bottles as you want. Okay, so for this one, this is my control. So the only thing I'm gonna have in here is simply water, like my funnel. Yeah, it's top of the soda bottle, it's awesome. Fill this up. So, like I said, this is my control bottle. The only thing that's in there is water, and I'm simply going to put my balloon over top of the bottle. Okay. You may want to, I forgot to mention, stretch out your balloon a little bit, just like when you blow them up, so that they are able to stretch a little bit more over your bottle opening. Be careful. You want to make sure you don't get any holes in your balloon. 
Right, so this is going to serve as my control. I'm just going to roll the edge down a little bit to hold it over. There we go. All right. So here's my control bottle, just water. And then here is my landfill simulation bottle. So I've got my food scraps. I want to fill up the remainder of the bottle with water. And you may be wondering why. Well, because this is a simulation, I want to simulate these food scraps being without oxygen gas. So no air being present in the bottle. Now, this is a simulation, technically. Is there some oxygen in here? Well, of course, water has oxygen in it. But the purposes of our experiment, we're trying to create an anoxic environment where no additional oxygen is being added in so that these banana peels can break down in the absence of oxygen gas. Okay, so the same thing. We're gonna put our balloon right over the top of the bottle. Be careful not to poke any holes in them. Okay. And you wanna just maneuver it just like this, okay? So here is our experimental bottle. Here's our control bottle. We want to put both of these bottles on a sunny windowsill and we want to watch them. We are going to observe what happens as our food scraps begin to decompose in the absence of oxygen and what happens to our balloon. You also want to keep an eye on this control bottle. Hopefully, controls are doing what they're supposed to be doing, you shouldn't see anything happen in this bottle. But if you do, that gives us an indication that there's something more than just water in your bottle, which hopefully there isn't. But if you have the worksheets that look like this, you can also visually track what's happening in each of your bottles by sketching day one what your bottles look like what the food scraps look like in the bottle, what your control looks like, and what your balloons look like. Right now, they're not inflated at all, okay? And then after day three, do another sketch. What do you see? After day five, and after day seven, okay? So this will be a way to actually visually record your data. Let me know what you find out after a week Make sure you make your drawings and also feel free to snap pictures of your progress on day one, three, five, and seven. And make sure I get them, okay? I can't wait to see what you think of this experiment. Happy sciencing.